installation of flat roofs from melting materials. The roof coating is a major part of a building structure. The most important consumer property of the roof is reliability, namely absence of leakages during operation between major repairs. Thus, operation of residential buildings roofs has its typical features. Within last 10 years, Technonicol Corporation experts, while examining roofs included into housing and utilities infrastructure in various regions of our country, marked that the reasons of leakages on roofs of buildings of various types are very similar. In the given video presentation, we will tell you about the main features of flat roofs installation from melting rolled materials. According to statistics, about 80% of leakages are connected with errors and defects admitted at performance of works on a new roof installation. During the first two to three years of operation, most rough errors occur, such as wrong selection of a material, bad preparation of surface for laying down, melting technology violation, wrong execution of roof covering junctions with parapets, pipes, air shafts, and other roof units. Other leakages arise because of roof misuse. According to Technical Corporation experience, it is possible to make roofs from bitumen polymeric materials by ordinary contractors which serve more than 15 years. The European experience proves that at appropriate operation roofs from melting materials serve 25 and more years depending on the material type. Roof installation Correct choice of materials Reading of any book starts from its cover, and likewise correct roof should be started from a material selection. According to the standard documentation, all rolled melting materials are divided into two large classes, bitumen and bitumen polymeric. Differences between them are in use of special polymers, improving features of a bitumen mix. Bitumen modification When sterile butadiene, sterile SBS, is included into bitumen, the elasticity and flexibility of the last raises. Visually, it is possible to show it at a band of a cold samples. The sample without SBS polymer additives is easily broken, but the bitumen polymeric mix bends without checking. The addition of a tactic polypropylene modifies the heat endurance of materials raises up to plus 130 Celsius that guarantees safety of roof at objects with high temperatures and in regions with a hot climate. The same processes occur and on the roof. The material is deformed and stretched at each change of temperature every day. Requirements to the foundation under laying down of melting roll materials. Correctly executed foundation allows to prolong much more the roofing surface life and also to simplify its operation and repair. Slopes are formed to provide full water drainage on the roof. The foundation and the laying of roofing material should be even and smooth. It is supposed presence of smoothly arising irregularities on the foundation surface, but no more than 5 mm across the slope and no more than 10 mm along the slope. Check of flatness of the foundation is carried out by 2 m leveling board. For the foundations from masonry units irregularities across and along the slope should not exceed 10 mm. Maximum roof surface life is reached when slopes of the foundation are not less than 1.5% and sloping is made in the neck gutter between leader heads. At execution of requirements to the slope on the foundation, as a rule, there are no stagnant zones and roofing material functions trouble-free. At freezing water on the roofing material extends tearing of protective dressing compound of the upper layer. The dust concentrates in pores and the nutrient medium for growth of moss and other plants is created. All this leads to faster material aging and premature failure of the roofing. To exclude the possibility of roofing rupture, an upstand fillet from a cement and sand grout at the angle of 45 degrees having dimensions 100 by 100 mm is made a transition to a vertical surface. It is the most simple to make the upstand from mineral wall plate with density of 100 to 140 kg per square meter or to purchase a factory-made fillet. It is necessary to clear a surface from construction waste and dust during winter time from snow and ice. Check up humidity of the foundation. Humidity of cement sandy screeds coats should not exceed 4% by weight and coats from asphalt concrete 2.5%. Provide for necessary binding of melting rolled materials 
with the roof foundation all surfaces of the foundation from cement and sand grout and concrete should be primed. As a priming paint put on dry surfaces it is recommended to apply primer bitumen. Vertical structures should be primed at the height of material application. Bottom layer plane. The course of roofing works, execution lateral overlapping of adjacent panels should be provided not less than 80 mm. Face overlapping of rolls should make 150 mm. Face overlappings of the adjacent panels of roofing should be shifted relative to each other for 500 mm. Roofing materials are recommended to be put in two layers so that the upper layer overlaps a lower layer. The distance between lateral joints of roofing panels in adjacent planes should be no less than 300 mm. When you lay down the bottom layer, use materials without dressing compounds. To protect bitumen materials against influence of ultraviolet sun rays, materials with dressing compounds should be used for the upper layer. Roll is put on the prepared foundation. It is fit relatively to adjacent ones providing necessary overlapping of panels. Further, it is rolled up to the middle. Winding is better to be made on a pipe or cardboard bobbin. Warm up the bottom binding layer of the roll with a simultaneous heating of the foundation. Heating is made with a smooth movement of a torch so that to provide even heating of the material and foundation surface. The bitumen melting occurs over the whole surface. It is considered as good practice such movement of the torch when at first the foundation is heated. Then the material with additional heat heating of that area which goes overlapped. A special indicating film with drawings is used on bitumen polymeric materials from the bottom side. The drawings deformation testifies to correct warming up of the bitumen mix from the bottom side of the rolled material. For quality melting of the material it is necessary to use the small bitumen roller. The indication of good correct warming up of the material is bitumen flowed out from the lateral edge of the material to 25 mm depending on the material. The main roofing places of a junction to vertical surfaces should be put to a vertical part above the upstand. In places where the roofing is laid along parapets and other raised elements, a strip of the same material is laid additionally for applying the upstand fillet with a width equal to the height of such a plank plus 100 mm for a horizontal surface. Upper layer laying. Upper layer laying is conducted with sheet relating to the bottom layer of the roll so that the upper layer completely overlaps the bottom layer joint. In the rest, the upper layer laying is conducted similarly to the bottom layer laying, observing the necessary overlappings. Execution of difficult parts of the roof. A junction of roofing to parapets, pipes, areas is the most probable places of leakage. The durability of the roof depends on quality of these parts execution. Our following section is devoted to correct execution of difficult parts. A junction to vertical surfaces. Vertical surfaces should have an even smooth surface. The surface from brickwork should be plastered minimum to the height of roofing material application. The main roofing in places of a junction to vertical surfaces should be applied to a vertical part above the upstand. In places of a junction to vertical surfaces, two additional layers of roofing with a basis from fiberglass fabric or polyester are glued down, with application to vertical surface up to the formation level. The first layer of roofing reinforcement should go over a vertical surface not less than for 250 mm. The second layer from the material with dressing compound should overlap the first layer on the vertical surface minimum for 50 mm. Layers should be made with seam stagger. Simultaneously, with making the first layer of the main roofing, the raised roof elements and parapet walls are pasted. This prevents water penetration and roofing in places of injunction. Adjunctions to vertical surfaces are carried out in the following sequence. After laying the first layer of the main roofing, a piece of the material is cut out from the roll with the length equal to the design height of its applying on the vertical surface plus 150 mm for applying on the horizontal surface. The material is wrapped at the distance of 150 mm from edge and is applied on the junction. Holding the bottom end of the panel, melting of cover layer and binding it to a vertical surface is started. Then the bottom end is bound to the horizontal surface. After laying the upper layer of the main roofing, the binding 
of the top layer with lapping on the horizontal surface of 250 mm is carried out similarly. With 100 mm overlapping, the first layer of roofing reinforcement at their junction. At melting of the upper layer on the material, a dressing compound will serve as a dividing layer and will reduce binding between layers. In order to avoid it, you should warm up the upper layer of the material and press the dressing compound into bitumen with the help of a pallet. Types of adjunction execution to vertical surfaces. Adjunction of roofing to wall with mechanical fixing of roofing edges with edge strip. The edge strip has attitudes with intervals of 100 mm. The top edge of the strip has an upturn providing hermetic sealing between metal strip and the wall surface. The edge strip is cut in places of inner or outer corners. It is forbidden to make bending of the strip in corners. The edge of the strip should be fixed at a distance of no more than 50 mm from the roof corner. In places of corners, the distance between the first and the second self-tapping screws cutting from the corner is 100 mm or subsequent fastenings are established with 200 mm interval. At installation, it is necessary to maintain distance of 5 to 7 mm between edge strips. In places where additional layers of roofing finish, establish the edge strip vertically. After installation, the edge strip you should lay the bitumen hermetic in a backslash between the top upturn and the wall. Vertically established edge strip is treated with bitumen polymeric hermetic from two sides. A junction with putting the roofing edge under all the sailing courses. To reduce possibility of water penetration in places of roofing edge fastening to vertical structures, the arrangement of over sailing courses is possible. You should make an embedment along the whole surface of the brick wall. Level the surface with cement and sand ground. Then put additional layers of roofing material into this embedment. Mount over over sailing courses a drip mold from the sink steel and seal the joint of the drip mold with the help of polyurethanic sealant. A junction of roofing to a brick wall. In case of impossibility to plaster a brick wall entirely and absence of oversealing courses in adjoining of roofing to a brick wall, a cheese is made in the wall for a deep mold installation. Beneath the cheese, the wall is plastered with cement and sand grout M150. Lays of roofing at the adjoining output for a height not less than 300 mm and the edge is fixed with an edge strip. The drip mold from the zinc steel should get into the cheese for not less than 50 mm and on the top should be oiled with a polyurethane or polysulfidic theophyll sealant. A junction to parapet wall with height less than 700 mm. At height of parapet wall less than 700 mm, additional layers of roofing are taken over the parapet wall. The top additional layer should be applied on the front part of the building for 50 mm. Fixing of roofing material is carried out with the help of parapet drop apron from the zinc steel or with the help of coping stone. Fixing of parapet drop apron, the distance between fixing points is defined by rigidity of a profile, but it should not exceed 600 mm. It is not recommended to fasten rigidly all sheets of steel drop aprons among themselves. Sheets if fastened into a section with length no more than 4 meters. Joints of parapet plates should be sealed with polyurethane or polysulfidic teocoil sealant. A junction to pipes of circular section. In places of roofing adjoining to air rails pipes, it is recommended to establish shaped parts. Installation of shaped parts. Cut out a square from the material with length of one side equal to the pipe diameter plus 300 mm. Cut it from the center and put it on the pipe. Then paste the pipe over with the material of the first layer applying a material closely to the pipe. Burn a protective film from the first layer material. For binding and hermetic sealing of the shaped part, it is recommended to use the asphalt binder SBS Technical No. 41. Warm up the asphalt binder and pour it on the installation place of the shaped part. Force a skirt of the shaped part into the warmed up SBS. At correct installation, SBS mix is squeezed out from the skirt, providing full tightness of connection. Apply over the rubber skirt the asphalt binder SBS and distribute it evenly over the surface. Paste the pipe over with the material of the second layer, applying it closely to the vertical part of the shaped part. The top of the shaped part should be fixed by means of metal collar clamp or sealed with a sealant. Funnels of internal drain. 
Water reception panels of an internal drain should be located in regular intervals on the roof area on the lower sides. No less than two funnels should be located on each part of the roof limited by walls, parapet or deformation seams. To increase the speed of water stream and reduce possibility of stagnant zone occurrence, the slope of the place of funnels should be no less than 4%. Local fall of the roof where funnels of internal drainage system are located should make 20 to 30 mm in the radius of 500 mm. As a junction to parapets is the most probable place of leakage, the water reception funnels located along parapets should be at the distance of not less than 450 mm from them. The area of the roof related to one funnel and diameter of the funnel should be established taking into account requirements of building regulation. Finding places of water isolating carpet or flanges of water in take up of the panel should be reinforced with the additional layer of melting material. The square is cut out from the material without addressing compound with a size of 500 by 500 mm which is clamped with bitumen hermetic between funnel flanges. Funnels with an additional layer are established on the prepared foundation. Further, the bottom layer of the main roofing is melted closely to the funnel edge. In case of using funnel with horizontal outlet, the roofing is melted or established on the hermetic to the funnel side. Quality control In the course of works, the constant control over observance of technology of separate stages of jobs is established. The log of works execution is kept at the object where it is daily recorded the following. Date of works execution Conditions of works execution at separate parts Results of regular control over quality of works. Quality of separate code layers is established by survey of their surface of a certificate drawing up on the hidden work after each layer. Found out that survey uh, the layers defects or deviations from their project should be corrected prior to the beginning of works on laying of upper layers of roof. Acceptance of the finished roof is accompanied by careful inspection of its surface, especially near funnels, in fumes and places of injunctions to raised elements. Quality control over roofing materials melting in seams is made with the help of flat blade screwdriver or a knife. Draw along the seam with small pressing. The screwdriver will be caught and drowned in the seam in places of poor quality melting. Also, an indication of quality melting is bitumen overflow from under the lateral edge of the material. Basic panels should not have faults, wrinkles, corrugations. Parts and adjunctions should be executed according to general guidelines on designing and installation of roofings from bitumen polymeric melting materials by Technical Corporation. During final acceptance of roofing, the following documents are submitted. Passports of the applied materials, logs of works execution on the roofing installation, as completed drawings of covering and roofing, certificates of provisional acceptance of the executed works. Typical defects and simple ways of their elimination. Leakage, which appear directly after rain. Main causes of leakage occurrence is a mechanical damage of roofing. For elimination, it is necessary to establish patches in places of damage overlapping a defective spot for 100 mm on each side. Well information of roofing. Moisture and steam penetration into the roofing causes the roofing swelling. In this case, superflow's pressure of steam air mix is created at heating which tears off the waterproofing finish from the foundation. There may be several reasons of moisture and steam penetration. Power's formation on the roof can be connected with infringement or absence of vapor barrier layer or it can have small vapor resistance. In addition to bubbles and formation, there is humidifying and freezing of heat insulation layer, dampness appearance on the ceiling of the upper floor while the roofing is intact. In this case, it is necessary to open the roofing covering on the side of bubble formation, remove underlayment and the heat insulation layer, dry the damaged place, correct vapor barrier and restore the roofing. Cuts of the roofing paste with two layers of strips of the rolled material overlapping them for 100 mm. False formation in adjunctions to vertical surfaces. Insufficient temperature constancy of the roofing material applied to the junctions installation can cause folds occurrence. Absence of mechanical fixing of roofing edge to a vertical wall. 
panels of raw materials attached to the unprepared vertical surface of bricklaying. You should paste panels of additional water insulating layer with temperature constancy of not less than 80 degrees Celsius over plastic and preliminary primed vertical surfaces. Edge of an additional layer should be mechanically fixed to the vertical surface with an edge strip or a drip apron from the zinc seal and sealed with a sealant. Storage and transportation. Metal materials by Tecna Nicole Company are established on panels in vertical position and are packed into a shrink film. They should be transported and stored only in such position. It guarantees safety of the material. Storage of materials in a horizontal position is forbidden. At such storage, materials take an oval form. The melting of oblique materials leads to false formation on the roof. Durability of roofing. Roofing durability is first of all influenced by quality of works execution and also correct operation of roofing. If jobs are executed correctly, roofing service life will be defined by quality and durability of applied materials. For example, service life of materials from Techno Elast series made by Technical Company makes up to 30 years. Quality installation of roofing reduces risk of leakage occurrence, saves money for repair of the roof and will save you nerves. You can get more detailed information on flat roofs installation and also practically execute all difficult units in training centers of Technical Corporation.